earlier I was saying that I thought I looked crazy, and then I got into Donna's car, and it turned out we were identically dressed. Both crazy. But also... She used the word homeless. <laughs> you said we looked homeless. No, no, I agree. We had homeless chic. Homeless chic, which I'm new to, and I'm only just what? now... <laughs> I'm very new to homeless chic! You're just... Okay, that's right, that's right. You're, you're, uh, an, you're an old friend of homeless. <laughs> Homeless chic. <laughs> cute on you, because that's a cute hat. What? Pammy, that is a cute hat. What? You know what's funny is I'm happy to see it on you because it confirms that I love it. <laughs> because me. it's good on you. No, it's but actually I mean, really cute on you. I look like You should see your profile. Show your profile. Douchebag. No, you don't. That is freaking cute. <laughs> Hi boys! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Who's going <laughs> racist. Oh, oh, no, I'm that girl. What girl? I'm racist. I'm a white girl in a stupid hat. That's racist. <laughs> Against white girls in stupid hats. Oh, oh, can I borrow Marlboro Light? <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, let me describe how Pam used to dress. Used to? Well, recently you've been As in a, jeans and long today. sweaters and white t-shirts like me. Oh, because oh, I gave up. All right, the way Pam used to dress is she would wear like a 1950s sort of like a housewifey dress with like a little cinched belt at the waist, very, very feminine dress, and there would always be like some kind of an alternative necklace. When I say alternative, I mean like some designer that she found on the internet, and it was always like, what the hell's on your neck? You know, like, is that a coin from Egypt? <laughs> it was just, you never knew. Or it would be like a little pendant that was like, follow your dreams. <laughs> What's you that thing? Shithead. What did you leave at my house that had like all kinds of... Oh, it was like, write till you can't anymore. <laughs> I don't know. But always, you never know. Could be four necklaces all with some sort of, you know, the secret sayings. Jonathan Livingston Siegel across the map. Sorry, that's like the worst thing I could say to her. No, yeah, it's... I'm sorry. Fine. I get it what you're like saying. Jonathan Livingston, the Tao of Pooh, Celestine Prophecy. <laughs> anyway, cute dress, necklaces, and... <laughs> like, like converse and that would be okay but she wears them with like sports socks to the go mid calf like she's going to the hop but like and she's gonna play some basketball <laughs> am I wrong and then she has a handbag that inevitably has a print that does not match the print on her dress I'm not saying you have to have, you don't have to be crazy like me and spend your money recklessly. You spend a lot of money in that bag. That was like, what'd you say, $80 or something? It's ridiculous. I, no, feel, it's I still not. feel guilty. It's a, I love that I bag. I bought it three years ago. Uh, I love that bag. <laughs> I'm just saying, next time, buy the same bag. Maybe a solid color. If you're primarily wearing dresses with prints. Ugh. Because mismatched prints makes you look crazy. So all I was saying was, man, that you and I have such similar emotional sensibilities. That's true. Such similar, like, psychic, psych, psychotic, no, psychological functioning. You know, we're both very emotional. Mm -hmm. We're both very hard on our sleeve. We're both very, like, vulnerable and easily moved. And, yeah. Right? We both have that. We both like to laugh. We have a very good time together. And if we were walking down the street, we may not be attracted together based on our aesthetics. It's kind of like... <laughs> It's kind of like, let's see, like, who would, Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> I'm just kidding, who is like, who's somebody in, I know, it is like Chloe Sevigny in fashion meets, um, that is the worst thing. Are you kidding me? Anyone has ever said to me oh, no. in my entire Life. Why? Why? I don't get it. I'm scared. She's a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe 70 would go out of the house <laughs> dressed like this. Oh my god, you are so wrong because Chloe 70 and so would you. <laughs> Do you, no! Do you think some of your concoctions... Hi, I'm... Wait, concoctions, not the hi, right I'm word. Chloe Contraption, no. I'm Chloe 70. I have a thing opening. I hope you come to it. Oh, wait, I need... <laughs> ah! Hi, I'm... Hi, I'm... Hi, I'm Chloe kind of cute. It looks like you're wearing, like, a bandana then with, like, a... Cool yeah! This is what Chloe 70 would wear, and you... 
Do you think that some of the things you put together are less offensive than what you're doing right now? I mean, honestly. Honestly. In terms of, in terms of looking sane. You are so mean. I'm not. I'm not. I'm you are th- saying that this is what I look like when I go out? Well, n- no, but maybe like, like a, 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 a parallel. Wow. I don't even know. <laughs> Do you need your hat back? Kind of. Look how shitteous I look. Do you want to wear my sweater hat? <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I know that I'm probably going to come across as a, kind of offensive. I was. It was a compliment to Pam. What? Where? I missed it right, entirely. Cool. I'm just saying. It's a really good thing that I'm not superficial. What? 